Well, hello and welcome to Messy Church. I've wrapped up warm and I've come outside because the sun's shining and I thought you might want to meet. Can you see him? This is our new member of the Messy Church gang. Hey, Teddy. There he is. Hey, Teddy, the new member of our Messy Church gang. Let's see how he can help us out today because that's what we're looking at. We're looking at Jesus and his helpers. He had a whole range of people with lots of different things that they could do. Who were his helpers? Now, I've got Teddy. Where is he? Yeah. Helping me today. And a few other friends as well. Some are new. You're going to meet Joe. He's one of our new helpers. You're going to see Dan, who's helping out. And then, well, I wonder what Hannah and Daniel and Benji are up to today as we explore this theme of helping out. But first, a story and the pictures were done by another helper, someone called Ruth. And she's done some fab pictures as we tell our story of helping. ...began to tell people about God. He knew he had a lot of work to do so we went to find some helpers. As Jesus was walking along the seashore, he called some fishermen. Jesus called to them, come, follow me. I'll make you fishers of people. Right away, they left their boats and followed Jesus. Later, Jesus met Matthew, a tax collector, whose job it was, was to collect tax money from people and give it to the king. He didn't have many friends. Jesus even said to Matthew, follow me. And Matthew, he became a friend, a follower, a helper of Jesus. Jesus added more helpers too, 12 in total to start with. They were his disciples. And then more joined him, like Mary, all learning of God's love. Today I was thinking about how Jesus' helpers helped him to show God's love to all the people around them. And so, hello. Today we tried to think about ways that we could show a bit of love to the people around us. Because we can't really see as many people as usual while we're in lockdown. So we decided that we would draw some chalk pictures on the pavement to hopefully cheer up everybody who passes by. What Mommy, are you drawing? That's my smiley face! Zigzag! Zigzag here! Are you standing on the smiley face? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Zigzag! Is this the map? Yeah, that's the map. Sure. Mm. What have we got here? Lasers? Yeah. Oh. A ladder here. Uh huh. An exit door here. Uh huh. The underground section here. Yeah. But well, I've not put anything there. Okay. Look. Hopefully, when people see our pictures, it will make them smile. Can you think of anything that you could do this week to make the people around you smile? Whatever you do, have lots of fun, and we'll see you next time. So for fidget today, I want you to meet my friend Joe, who does something called the Glow Show. And I think he's going to get us fidgeting really well. Here we go, Joe. Look. Can we just, can we just pretend that I did a cartwheel? Can we just make it look like I did a good cartwheel? Whoa! Good morning, boys and girls. Thank you for having me here at Glow. This morning, my name is Joe Quits, and I'm here to give you a Joe Quits workout. Well, I've been asked to give you a Joe Quits workout, and what does that look like? Well, your heart, your heart's going to get a pumping. Your feet, your feet are going to get a wiggling, and your arms, they're going to get a jiggling. So get up on your feet right now. Find yourself some space. Find yourself a nice big bit of space like this. Maybe move your coffee table out of the way. Maybe move your mum out of the way. Maybe move your dad out of the way. Maybe leave your baby brother on the floor if he is there, but warn him, he might get hit. All right, we're gonna start off, and the way we start off, 
we need to loosen up the body. Yep, that means from the bottom to the top, we're going to loosen up. We're going to make yourself jiggle. We said we're going to jiggle our legs and wiggle our arms. Well, we're going to start off with the feet. Okay, with your feet, start going in circles like this on the tips of your toes and back round. Whoa, huh, whoa. On the tip of your toes and back round. Then more at the knees. More at the knees. Whoa, more at the knees. Around, around. Oh, change direction around around everybody get involved around 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 now up to the waist whoa circles circles with your hips whoa whoa and change direction whoa 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 and now up to the chest whoa 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 okay everybody at home be doing this please let's go whoa okay now for the arms whoa Whoa, one person Mexican wave. Whoa, 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 one person Mexican wave. Again, everybody, whoa. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pass it around everyone at home. I'm gonna start and you guys copy afterwards and we'll have a, everyone together Mexican wave. Whoa. All right, next up is my favorite, favorite exercise and it's called the starfish jump. Yeah, no, it's not a star jump, not a star jump, it's a starfish jump. All right, this, I'll demonstrate what a starfish jump is. You ready? That's a starfish jump, that's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do, are you ready for this? Do you need me, I'll demonstrate one more time, don't do it quite yet, because this starfish jump is quite an elaborate, elaborate workout, okay? You ready, starfish jump? Do you think you got that? Do I need to do it one more time, just, just, so, you, just so it's clear? Okay, starfish jump. No, no star jumps, not that starfish jump, okay? Three, two, one. So how was that for a fidget with our new friend, Joe? I think we leave him there in his starfish jump. What a fab helper he's been. Giants, my God's the king of the lions. My God's the king of the creatures of the deep. My God's the king of me. Heard the story about my Frank King Day. Wouldn't let the giant stand in his way. He said, Hand me my sling, cause he's not that tall. Cause my God is bigger and I'm watching for. Cause my God's the king of the Giants, my God's the king of the lions, my God's the king of the creatures of the deep, my God's the king of me. Have you heard the one about this guy called Dan? He was a mighty holy praying man. He said, thrown to the den of the scary beasts. But God saved a hero from the lion's teeth. My God's the king of the Giants, my God's the king of the lions, my God's the king of the creatures of the deep, my God's the king of me. This is my God's the king of the giants, my God's the king of the lions, my God's the king of the creatures of the deep, my God's the king of me. This is more than history, he will do the same for me. I turn around the way I see, and I'm lost and afraid, alone in the dark, you're with me. You're with me. This is my God's the king of the giants. My God's the king of the lions. My God's the king of the creatures of the deep. My God's the king of me. My God's the king of the giants. My God's the king of the lions. My God's the king of the creatures of the deep. My God's the king of me. So, can this dog be helpful? Oh, look what Teddy's found! Thank you, Teddy! We wonder where your ball was. Oh, where's he going now? Oh, look at you, Ted. Sniffing around the flowers. That's helpful, because I hadn't noticed the signs of spring. Oh, Sparrowhawk going over. That's cool. 
Thanks, Teddy. I wouldn't have spotted it if you weren't looking. Who knew how helpful a dog could be? Ooh, it's got all chilly now, hasn't it? Well, Teddy's helped me coming out in the garden, seeing loads of great things. So now I'm going to go inside with Ted. I think it's time for a bit of a thinky time. Well, look at this. Teddy's all tired out and he's having a bit of a doze. While he has a doze, we can have thinky time. I wonder what you're thinking about from the story and the activities today. What I'm thinking about, hmm, well, is that all Jesus' helpers were different. And also, they were quite surprising. Some of them were good with their hands and moving and shifting things, and they were the fishermen. Others, well, like Matthew, he was good with numbers and counting and money. Mary, well, she was really loyal and faithful. All were good at different things, but all were quite surprising, friends and helpers of Jesus. They weren't the ones that were the most popular, and they weren't the ones that seemed to be top of the checklist. But Jesus chose them, and they became amazing helpers of Jesus. Hmm. If I think about them, and then I think about all the gang that have been on Messy today, I think about Joe and Ruth and Dan and Hannah and Daniel and Benji, all the helpers of Jesus and all the friends of Jesus. And that might be quite surprising. Some of them might seem too small or young. No, we can all be friends and helpers of Jesus. You know what we need to do though? We need to get to know him. For the followers in the Bible story, they could hang out with him and eat meals and chat to him. It's a bit different for us because he doesn't walk around among us, but he says he gives us his spirit to live in us and help us and change us so we can get to know Jesus. But also there's the Bible and we can read the stories, find out loads about what Jesus was like. And then we can talk to each other and listen to each other and help each other. You see, I learned from the rest of the gang. I learned from Daniel and Benji and Hannah and Joe and Ruth. I learn about their lives and I learn about Jesus in their lives. So how about you? In the next few weeks, we're gonna be looking particularly at different things about Jesus. And that can help us be his helper. And you can think about how you can build a friendship with Jesus and be his helper, helping others to know that God loves them. So let's be helpers together. And now, as we finish, let's do the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.